So now the next thing that we look at is the prime and composite numbers. In some of the earlier lectures, we saw that every number has certain factors. So suppose if you have 6, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. If you have 7, you have 1 and 7. If you have 8, 1, 2, 4 and 8, 5, 1 and 5. Now out of these numbers, if we see there are certain numbers, say 7 and 5, where the number of factors are only 2. Similarly, if you see for 5, again, the number of factors are 2. And is there something common that you can see amongst these 2, which is 5? Yes, the factors of these numbers are nothing but 1 and the number itself, which is 7 here and 5 here. So a prime number is basically nothing but a number which has two factors. And what are these two factors? One is 1, the numeral 1, and the other one is the number itself. Now, when we say prime number is a number, here, 1 itself is excluded. So, why is 1 excluded? Because 1 has only one factor, which is 1 itself. So for 1, there is only one factor which is there. There are not two factors. Because the number itself is also 1. Here, if I see this particular category, for 1, the number itself is also 1. So there is only one factor for 1, and therefore 1 is not a prime number. Let us try this for some other number. Let us take the case of, say, 3. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3. Again, only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Therefore, 3 is also a prime number. So this was insofar as prime number are concerned. Now what do we mean by composite number? A composite number is a number which has more than two factors. Now 6 is your composite number. Why? Because 6 has four factors. 8 is a composite number because 8 has again four factors. So a composite number is a number which has more than two factors and therefore these are known as composite numbers. Let me take some more examples. First for the prime number because I think prime number is something which is more difficult to understand. Let's say take 10. Now what are the factors of 10? 1 of course, 2 yes, 3 no, 4 no, 5 is a factor and then 10. So how many factors are there? There are four factors and therefore this is what? A composite number. Okay, 11. For 11, 1, yes of course, we know that 1, the 1 is a factor of all the numbers. And then only 11 is the other number which divides 11 because any number between 2 and 10 does not divide 11. So 11 is a prime number. So that is how you basically arrive at a conclusion on whether a particular number is a prime number or it is a composite number. Now basically in that case you can kind of try this in as many cases as you want to see which are the prime numbers and which are the composite number. Any number which is not a prime number is a composite number. <laughs>